Hi there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel Workshop Fun. Today I'd just like to post a quick update about what's been going on with the caravan and talk about the few things that I said I was going to do before Christmas comes along and um, wind things up. So, you know, I, once um, we sort of get to mid-December, I won't be able to do um, much in here. I'll have, to, you know, I'll be sort of on holiday and things like that. So this will sort of come to a bit of a standstill for a little while. So anyway, um, well, it won't be for too long. Be for like a, about two weeks, three weeks. Be nice to have a break though. Anyway. I'll get on with this video and talk about what I've been doing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know what my camera is doing at the moment, sorry. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Anyway, if you look over here and over here, you'll see two new light switches. This one's just for your light switch underneath here. And I'll just turn that back off. And this one here I put in as something new. So that there is a manual override for my AC chargers. So you know, I can turn around and set the Cerebo through its on-off relay, generator on-off relay, uh, to turn around and automatically throw, excuse me, throw my caravan back to the grid and start up my AC charges, all completely automated. Uh, that's what I will typically do when the caravan's outside running on solar but what to do if I want to override that and just be in grid mode and be able to have the luxury of just turning my charges on and off so with the Cerebo and the generator relay on and off you know the automatic one you got the option of manual start, manual stop, and that turns around and overrides the auto, of course. So right now I've got it in manual start, which will mean that I am running on the grid. So manual start for me is running on the grid, manual stop for me means I'm running on my battery bank and auto of course means that it'll automatically switch over from the uh, from the battery bank to the grid on its own and automatically fire up the charges but when I'm in grid mode of course I don't always want the charges on because you know say I go to manual start I don't want the charges on then you know if I'm manually starting the grid you know so basically I can turn my charges on so I can turn them on now now that turns the charges on the bottom one's already on this one will come on very soon and wait for it there you go that one's on so now I can charge my batteries up to 100% and then when they're at 100% I can just simply flick it off so that's turned both the charges off now. So there you go, it's off. 
And yeah, then, you know, I can still remain in good mode, but without having the AC chargers on all the time. So it's just a really handy little thing. Um, when I'm actually, like once this caravan's finished and out of this workshop, I will very rarely use that switch. I'll actually just leave that switch on all the time and have the automated system in place. But while the caravan's in here, uh, it, or for any other reason too, it's handy being able to switch the AC chargers off and just stay in grid mode and just charge my batteries at my own discretion because they really won't be getting used, you know, that much in here. Or there be, might be other times when they really won't be getting used much, like, yeah. So just handy having that option. So that's one thing I've done, but as you can see, I've made, oh, well, I bought two matching switches. So it's all just tidy and uniform and it kind of matches well everything else down there is white so it kind of makes sense to have the switches white as well uh so yeah you know it just keeps it uniform okay on to the next thing i've been working in here quite a bit just trying to neaten it all up it is getting there i've got a little bit more left to do on that but it's getting there it's quite hard for me to focus in here at the moment but yeah that's nearly there now a little bit more work and then that'll be done oh. right the other thing i've been working quite hard on try and get a bit more light there we go so the splashback oh the splashback oh my goodness it's taken a bit of work so, as I said in the last video, down here, there used to be a chunky beam that held the TV. So, for me, that's absolutely useless. And the big chunky beam just, you know, consumes space. So, I had to take that beam out, and in doing that, of course... <laughs> They had glued and screwed it on so that became a bit of a major and I ended up having to cut it out which also scratched the veneer you know the wood veneer whatever it is so fortunately I was able to build this and I've been neatening up all the edges using no more gaps very carefully and from from when I rebuilt this and put all those big solid white beams in the back here, I had a bit of wood left over. Oh my goodness, it is hard doing things while holding a phone. We take things for granted, don't we, until we're holding something. <laughs> anyway, so I had a bit of wood left over with the same veneer on well on the ven uh, on the bit of wood so i chopped it down to size and then chopped out the little grooves to make it go and slot into uh, the area that i've made here and fits in there nicely and then i ran no more gaps around it all carefully and i'm just painting this edge here white i still got a sand that off nice and smooth and then paint it white again get it looking nice but yeah it's coming along now that's been a lot of work though <laughs> a lot of work so happy days it's nearly there thank goodness right now we'll come on through to the bathroom Okay, all right, now in my last video, I talked about how I was going to bog this and 
get it blending in. So I've done that now. I put two coats of bog on this and <laughs> spent a long time sanding this down and getting it leveled out with the rest of the ceiling. Uh, that was hard, but it's done now. And when I when I eventually paint the ceiling, it's actually going to blend in really nicely and basically look like it was never there, which was which is the whole point, you know, is to hide the fact that there was ever a hatch there in the first place. It just makes it look like it's come out of the factory like this. Um, yeah, of course, in doing that, my goodness, did I create an insane amount of dust in here. So, yeah, anyway, I'll get cleaned up too. So, that's mainly about it for now. Uh, it's just been a tidy up all the started jobs, so all the little loose ends, get them finished. There is one more job I'd like to do before Christmas too and get that finished is because I have started and not finished it and that's these just need to have a couple more coats of varnish and same with these wooden curtain rails that I've made. It's been hours making them so yeah so these things here these usually hold my um, lovely maroon curtain and that's the stainless steel bar that I made in my lathe. I slotted them on either end and flattened off the ends nicely so that it's very flush with these wooden rails. And then I can use a grub screw to screw them in if I want. But I actually found that the, these holes provided enough pressure to hold it in there perfectly. So yeah, it's just going to be a matter of sanding those and getting them nice they're actually mahogany and I've got to neaten up this little mistake here that I made anyway mistakes you make yeah okay I'm just coming through here carefully okay now I'm just going to sit back down okay yeah, anyway so that's really about it for now. I'm just going to finish those details and then it'll be it for oh, about two, three weeks. Anyway, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody is spending time with loved ones over Christmas and, you know, friends and family. And I hope everybody's having a nice time. Christmas time is a important time of reflection for people um, if you have religious points of view it's an important time for that and it's an important time to spend time with family and reflect on what happened during the year and what can happen the following year to improve things or improve yourself so yeah Merry Christmas have a happy new year and keep safe. Bye.